Welcome back to the lead. A small plane plunges to the ground in Connecticut, killing one person, injuring another. But what may have seemed like a tragic crash is now the subject of a federal investigation because the sole survivor says this was no accident. I want to bring in CNN correspondent Sarah Gannam. She's looking into this. So, Sarah, what do we know about the crash and evidence that this was an intentional act? Yes, Jim. In fact, investigators were able to determine, uh, based on an interview with the flight instructor who was in the cockpit, he told investigators that just moments before the crash, there was a struggle in the cockpit with the student pilot who was killed in the crash. The FBI just moments ago took over the lead from the NTSB, indicating this is now a criminal investigation. That flight instructor, Arian Pravala, survived this crash, Jim, by getting out of the plane before it burst into place into flames. And according to a U.S. official with direct knowledge of the investigation, Pravala told investigators he got into an argument with the flight, the, the flight student who appeared frustrated with his own family because he felt he was being forced to become a pilot just moments before it crashed. Now, there were no recorders or any video on board to corroborate that claim, but based on what that flight instructor later said, investigators do now believe the crash was intentional. We expect that law enforcement will get a search warrant for that student pilot's computer, and we know officials will interview his family as well. It's unclear who was flying the plane at the point of the crash, since there are two sets of controls inside. Now, this crash initially sparked concern because you can see from aerial images that it happened very near to the headquarters of Pratt & Whitney, which is a U.S. defense contractor that makes airplane engines. That heightened the level of the investigation, although at this point there's there's no indication that Pratt & Whitney was a target. These, uh, this plane ended up crashing onto Main Street in East Hartford, Connecticut, not far from a residential area and just barely missing a minivan that you can see in the street. When the crash happened, the plane was headed back to Brainerd Airport where it had taken off. And just a small thing to note, Jim, this was a twin engine plane indicating that that student pilot likely was not a beginner. And I assume Jim? just quickly, no flight or data recorder on a plane this size, I assume. Right, that's correct. Okay, so no way to corroborate that story. Sarah Ganim, thanks very much.